Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik, and recently we released Movie Magic Budgeting 7.1. That is a free update for those who have already purchased Movie Magic Budgeting 7, and it contains a lot of performance improvements, but also contains a few enhancements, one of which I'll be going over today, which is the Finding Invalids. This is great for situations where you've opened up a budget or you're going to print it, and you know certain cells say invalid. Now this may be referencing either a bad calculation or maybe an invalid reference. And what this feature does is it allows you to quickly find all those invalid references so that you can easily update them. Let me show you how it works. So with my budget open, I'm going to go ahead and show you what an invalid cell looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and drill down into one of these accounts. And down here on the details level, as you can see here in the amount field, I've got this invalid reference. And if I highlight it, you can see inside there that it's referencing a global. And it's probably a global that doesn't exist anymore. And so it's referencing something that you know doesn't exist, so it's now invalid. And there's many other things that can cause uh, invalid, uh, a bad calculation or something like that. And they may be throughout your budget. So to find all of them, what you can do is go up to Edit, Find, and if I scroll all the way to the right, the last tab is called Invalid in the Find window. And all I have to do is click Find, and it will come up with a window that shows you all the different invalid references throughout the entire budget. And what it will do is show you um, what account number it's in, what row it's in, what column, the formula, and also the reason. And all these have to do with this one global that it's referencing, and it's referencing a global that doesn't exist anymore. So, since all these are the same thing, what I can do, and by the way, if I wanted to, I could actually print out a report of this to have, you know, side by side with me. But what I can do now is I can go up to Setup, Globals, and I know that T used to reference shoot weeks, but now I have this shoot weeks global. And so that I can have both, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add a global called T, have it be the alternate shoot weeks, and have this equal the global above SH, and have it be a unit of weeks, and I'm done. So now all I have to do is close this, and now as you can see, uh, it still equals T, but it'll now appear correctly. And if I go back to the Find window, I'm going to just hit Command F, Control F on Windows, and bring up that Find window again. The Invalid tab is highlighted. I'm going to click Find, and it says no items match the search criteria. So it went through and corrected all of that um, by just that one correction. Now there may be other invalids for you, and um, now there may be fewer because you've gotten rid of some. Um, and what this will help you do is find those and correct them as need be. So that adds another tool to your arsenal to make sure that your budgets are accurate and on track. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks? Or do you just want to send us some feedback? You can send that to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our products and services. And while you're there, check out the community page where you can find ways to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, or subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.